Hey, it's Adam. Welcome to Tech Dive AV Club, and today we're in Vegas Pro 17, and we're going to talk about how to do silhouettes. So, the thing is, for a silhouette, it's actually pretty easy if you have the right source material. What you need is some sort of blue screen, green screen, something you can chroma key. So, chroma key is when you remove a color from something, and then if you have this kind of green screen or blue screen material, creating a silhouette gets ultra easy. You can see here this is kind of what our final products are going to be. So if you've ever wondered how they make an iTunes, like those old iTunes I, iPod commercials where everybody's dancing in front of the multicolor screens as multicolor silhouettes, this is how. So first off, I'm going to hit Control, Shift, and Q to create a new track. And I'm going to lift my blue screen above this new track. And uh, I'm going to go to Media Generators and I'm gonna to go to the color gradient and I'm gonna find the sunburst just you know I just want this sunburst for my thing you can use whatever background it can be a video it can be anything you want so now we can't see it yet because I haven't applied the chroma key effect now this effect is warranting a whole tutorial within itself however we're gonna just do a cliff notes version if you need more information about making a good green screen or blue screen I have a tutorial about that it's older it's a little bit more rambly because it's in one of my older tutorials sorry about that so now we got this Korok here and we're going to go to chroma keyer this is the effect we need and we're gonna drop the blue screen effect on it and it looks like it worked but it didn't we're not done yet uncheck the chroma key you always want to take this little sample thing, click on the color, take the little sample rod, and grab the color of your blue screen. Now this one's gonna be easy because I have a solid blue color behind it, so it'll be very easy to green screen. I have another video on why things can be hard to green screen if you wanna check that out too. I'll link it below. And um, for the cliff notes, if you have the correct color selected, the blue screen's pretty much gonna work instantly. But you can still see just a little bit of like blue tinge around the Korok just from, um, the computer rendering mesh. You can take this low threshold and kind of bump it up a little bit to kind of tighten your lock on your green screen, right? Your high threshold will loosen the lock on your green screen. And you can kind of usually, for if you have a more traditional green screen, something that's not just an actual solid color, it'll be more difficult. So you'll have to like tighten in your low and high thresholds on a nice even color that represents the majority of your background. Um, but for us, this is plenty. So now we've got the first step. We've got green screened footage. The Korok is in front of a sunburst. So now you can always go back into it by hitting this FX key. The next step is pretty simple. All you have to do is hit this show mask. And ta-da, you've done one of the most important things you can do. This is actually a great way to see how your chroma key is working, especially in a more complicated chroma key. But you can leave this selected. This actually creates a silhouette for you. Now, if you wanted a white silhouette, you're done. It's, it's a white silhouette right there. Now, if you wanted a different color silhouette or a shadow, we're going to talk about that. So a next common one is a black silhouette. So let's go to the invert. Invert here is where you get the opposite of all your colors. So if we do a 100% inversion and we drop it on the Korok, the white is going to turn to black because black is the opposite of white in the color scheme. So this chroma key right here gets rid of this color first. See, it gets all weird if I if I get rid of the chroma key effect because the chroma key effect happens first in the effect chain. That's why it's not changing what color is being chromed, chromed out. That's why it can change the whole thing to black. So make sure that your chroma key is not second. If it's second, you're going to have some issue. The next step, if you don't want a black silhouette, what you can do is you can actually go to the color corrector secondary tool in your video effects drag the default of that onto your blue Korok, making sure it's the secondary. And then when you go, you hit this, you get all these effects right here just in your window. And there's a lot of different effects that you can do here, really, really dialing in on how to do color changing and select color changing and things like that. But for this, thankfully, it's pretty simple. You just go to chrominance and you can just kind of select the color you want. Do you want blue, magenta, red, green? And you're thinking, oh, but those aren't quite the colors I want yet. We're going to get there, all right? So let's go with blue. And you're thinking, okay, well, blue's not quite right yet. That's all right. We can bump up the saturation. 
we can bump up the lower the gain. Sorry, I said bump up, but I meant lower the gain. And there you go. That's actually now we got a nice blue Korok. And you can change that to any color you want, really. And using this the using this chrominance saturation and gain, you can actually really dial into just about any color you want right there with your silhouette. And so that, see a little bit of the Korox face? That's from the chroma key not being being too tight there. So, all right. Now, the next step is if you want it to shadow, let's say you want this thing to create a shadow. Let's make it black by centering the color and dropping the gain. This is also another way to kind of create that dark silhouette. But with the alpha channel, you can change how see-through it is. So you can actually drop the alpha channel some too, and then there you go. Now you've got a Korox shadow instead of a Korox silhouette. So there you go. To be honest, here, here, let's do one more thing. I wasn't planning on doing this, but this will be fun. You can go to your compositing mode and go to 3D Source Alpha. Track Motion, and this is actually how you can make your track look 3D. And we can actually put the Korok on a plane and drop a second Korok on there. I'm going to right click when I drop it so I don't drop the audio too. Go to do right click video only, add video across time. And then we're going to do uh, a quick chroma key actually, and I can actually right click and copy and then right click and hit paste event attributes. And then you can see it's actually got the same thing twice, but one without the track rotation. So then we can do this right here. We can actually open up the effects panel, delete um, the effect, one of the effects, un unchange the mask there. Now our Korok has a shadow that happens behind it, but we can, we can even change that some more. There we go, bonus, now our Korok has a shadow. You can see how you can you can work together with your different effect tools and get this thing to kind of line up more exactly how you want it, more different plane, whatever whatever kind of shadow you're going for. So that is how to make shadows, silhouettes, and all sorts of cool stuff using the chroma key in Vegas Pro 17. Thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more tutorials like this one. I'll see you next time.